Hello, Palmetto Bay. I'm Gloria Rodriguez, your media specialist, with the highlights from our regular council meeting held this past Monday, June 7th, 2021. Last month, Palmetto Bay's Village Council passed on first reading an ordinance modifying the membership appointment process for advisory boards or committees. The new process allows for vacancies to be posted by the village clerk and an application review process and final selection done by the appointing council person. The ordinance was adopted on second reading last Monday. On first reading, the council passed an ordinance extending the due date for the final report by the design review committee from the original date of July 1st, 2021 to November 1st, 2021. Also on first reading, the council voted to create the village's heritage committee for the 20th year anniversary celebration, authorizing the village manager to allocate funding to cover related costs. And finally, Council approved on first reading an ordinance amending the Shannon Melendi Act to include a definition for carnivals, festivals, and fairs in an effort to better identify the types of vendors that are subject to the requirements of the act. Village Attorney De La Gloria issued a statement which has been emailed to residents and posted online, explaining the amendment and its purpose. All three ordinances will go before the council for second reading before final adoption. As part of the consent agenda, the council endorsed the educational compact between Miami-Dade County Public Schools and the Village of Palmetto Bay with the intent to align resources and implement innovative programs to equip students with the tools they need in school. Appointed Mr. Harry Nirenberg to the Educational Advisory Board, they authorized Village Manager to allow Ava Radigan, Elisa Plotnikova, Imani Mitchell, Giancarlo Diego, and Sara Parades to participate in the Youth Community Involvement Task Force until each member is termed out. Authorize the use of Coral Reef Park by Miggy's Gift Inc. for its Stepping It Up for Melanoma fundraising event on November 7, 2021. As part of regular business, the Council approved the following resolutions. A resolution authorizing the manager to undertake a feasibility study for the potential acquisition of the property located at 17601 Old Cutler Road, otherwise known as the Birch property, which is immediately north of Ludovici Park. A resolution allowing the manager to execute a commun community-wide survey. More details will be provided on that. A resolution authorizing a loan to refinance an existing outstanding loan from the Florida Municipal Loan Council. The refinance is anticipated to save the village approximately $230,000 annually. A resolution adopting the Florida Department of Environmental Protection's model ordinance for the use of Florida-friendly fertilizer for urban landscapes to minimize the effects of high levels of nitrogen and phosphorus on surface and groundwater aquifers. A resolution approving a contract with Kimley Horn and Associates to design the proposed Veterans Park. Input will be sought throughout the process from our Veterans Park Committee and members of the public. If you missed Monday night's meeting, you can catch it on our website at www.palmettobay-fl.gov or on our Facebook page. Our next regular council meeting will be Monday, July 12th. Remember that the Village Hall will be closed on Monday, July 5th in observance of Independence Day. Have a great day.